Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <clears throat> Send me a quote for a video, keep me anonymous. Cappy, occasionally you get a question from single men who have saved a lot of money. One worry they have is being too conservative and thus dying while still having a lot of savings. So they might have foregone a European vacation they could have taken since they wanted to make sure their money didn't run out. <clears throat> Tell them to look into a deferred life annuity. You can use a variable annuity, example invest in stocks, or a fixed annuity. Here are the advantages. You get paid a monthly fixed income until you die. Uh, to income you make is tax deferred. However, you don't get a tax deduction for the original contribution. Three, you get, do get a tax deduction for you originally invested. However, that comes after you start getting paid. Four, these products are sold by life insurance companies. These companies are more severely regulated than banks. Therefore, they're all uh, very safe investments. Well, I don't know about that. <clears throat> It is an insurance product. It basically, before people ask, what Aaron, what's an annuity? It's, it's basically income insurance. So you pay money now uh, into these insurance companies, financial firms. They'll go invest that money, and, uh, but you don't, you don't, you're not entitled to their investments. They just have a contract with you that we will pay you a fixed amount of income every month or every year for a specific amount of time or in the case of uh, example here there are lifetime annuities where you're paid until you're dead um but that's what it is and uh you can make money on it like you could be paid out more adjusted for inflation than what you put in but the actuaries who do the math um uh, they do it so that they will make more money with the investments in the stock market than what they pay you out at so it's, it's, it's like any other insurance. It's a money losing proposition, potentially, um, but you're not concerned about uh, really necessarily making money. You're more concerned about uh, guaranteed income. That's income security. Uh, five, there are free ratings for insurance companies online from MA, AM Best. Six, if you live till 95, you still get your monthly payment until you die. Disadvantage one, fixed annuities. Are currently paying low yield. They're basically they basically follow thirty-year treasuries. Two, no tax deduction for your original investment initially. I'd max out the IRA first. Three, once you die, the money is gone. So suppose a rich single man at forty-five is sitting on five hundred cash and currently is hitting the max on his IRA deduction, and his house is paid off. He could buy a deferred fixed life annuity from Mutual of Omaha or in any other A-rated company for hundred thousand at age sixty. He would be paid 1000 per month until he dies. No, but those are rough numbers. Your listeners will have to decide for themselves what to do with their money, but this is an option they should look at. Yeah, it's. I don't really mention um, annuities because I don't like the fact that it's like, well, if I invest in I'm statistically likely to do better. And I'm not saying everyone go buy a deferred annuity or a, a fixed annuity. What I'm saying is go talk to your financial advisor. Some Sometimes it's... it's uh, it plays a role in people's retirement planning. It can, uh, but I, I really don't mention it because it's like, well, I, I, it's like, no, I can, I can invest better, you know, mathematically. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'm not really looking at um, uh, income insurance. I think uh, that's going to be working and being frugal and being a minimalist. That's the other thing is, yeah, it's nice to have the income insurance, but if you're a minimalist, you don't really need that much. Uh, but yeah, if all of a sudden you got money burning a hole in your pocket, it's not the worst thing. Just be very well aware. Anyway, um, the client wanted to tell you guys about that as a public service announcement. So thank you very much for the client. And if you want to pay Cappy to do public service announcements, I will. We'll see you guys. Toodles.